Welcome to another episode of Blitz. I'm Brian Carter, your host, and I'm on site here at Towns County High School with uh, new head football coach Blair Harrison. Coach Harrison, thanks so much for your time on Blitz. Thanks for having me. Now you're about, uh, well, I don't know how many weeks, but it's the, ma the matter of the fact is it's just weeks away from starting the 2013 season with an all-new clean slate. Uh, and the buzz of excitement around the community is, you know, starting a new era with you at the helm. Talk about, you know, your feelings about all this excitement going into this brand new season. Well, it's real exciting. You know, I've been welcomed uh, just tremendously by the, the, the people of Towns County and the community and the players. Um, I wish we weren't opening early. I think we're opening a week early to most uh, Georgia schools, but uh, I guess they had to do that to get the rival game in uh, yeah. first. But uh, I wish we had another week, but uh, we'll, we'll make do. And, um, you know, uh, but I'm just real excited to get this thing started. I think we got some good football players and I just look forward to seeing them play. I think around here they term that uh, week zero is what they're yeah. calling that, and a few of the teams are having to do that. Uh, now, Coach, you've, you've been around coaching for, I believe you told me before this interview, about 19 years. Um, a lot of coaches, you know, go from school to school for a variety of reasons, but what was most enticing for you when, you know, you took the opportunity to coach here in Hiawassee? I think that um, – I, I just think that they – they were needing someone like me. Um, I think that the, the, the type of kids that we have fits my program, and I think that I can uh, bring some change to, I guess, the success they've had on the field. Um, you know, just the, the competition-wise, I hope that we can start competing at a higher level, and I think that the, the things that I do will probably help us do that here at Towns County. Now, I know over the last few years, I've got a chance to know uh, the previous coach, Kyle Langford, um, talked with him quite a bit, and he had always talked about how the numbers was an issue, uh, you know, getting those bodies on the field. And uh, what have you seen early on, though, because he talked about how the numbers were increasing up until last year. So uh, what have you seen early on that, that indicates to you that there's a solid foundation here at Towns County? Well, I know that we got good football players. I know they've been coached. Um, you know, I'm not aware of what the numbers have been in the past, so I can't comment on that. I, you know, I'd like to have a few more bodies. Of course, every coach would. I think that even at the big programs, they would like to have more bodies. Oh, yeah. um, so, you know, bodies turns into a, a situation for practice time and, and things like that, how you get things accomplished. But, you know, right now, you know, we play 11 players. The other team plays 11 mm -hmm. players. Uh, everywhere I've been, you know, even if we at the bigger programs, we've had 18 or 19 kids that can play, and those yeah. guys usually got all the snaps. So, you know, that's going to be the same thing here. The, the, just the, 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 the where it hurts you in a pro place like this, numbers-wise, is the competition in practice. Right. Um, so, you know, we're, we're just trying to get better in practice every day, get those younger guys more physical, and, and hopefully we can get better all around and get some more depth. But the, the numbers are down, you know, but they're not down considered to, to most single-A programs. Yeah. So I think we're going to be fine. Now, uh, the community gets behind this program really well here in Towns County, um, and, and it never gets bigger than it does in the first couple weeks for you guys when you start right off the bat with some huge rivals in Hayesville and Union County, and, and around here that's pretty big, and I'm sure you've been briefed on, on the, tense, the intensity, intensity of that rivalry. Uh, talk about how much you would love to just hand them a loss early on in the year and set the tone for the season. Well, to be honest with you, you know, you, we always go out to try to win whoever we're playing. Right. Um, I understand that those schools are very close here. I, I, I do not, I don't know anything about them really. I've watched a little bit of film on the on Hayesville, and um, you know, I think we can compete with them. Um, Union County, I don't know anything about them. Um, so really, you know, my job as a coach is to go out and execute on Friday nights and be prepared and get our guys in the right position to win, uh, no matter who's across the field. Right. Um, I try to play rivalries. Uh, down, so to speak, um, because sometimes you can get too emotional and not be able to perform at your at your peak. And and we're going to go out there and we're going to try to play four quarters against whoever we're playing. And you know, just uh, those nights, there's probably going to be more people in the stands watching. But we still got to perform every time we go out there. So I'm looking forward to it. I like playing in front of good crowds, and uh, hopefully we can do some good things early on in the season and keep the crowds coming all year. Yeah, and I'm not sure. Uh, I'm I'm not really sure on you know what you brought back last year. Um, you know, depth wise and you know by position. But one thing that I am aware of, and a lot of teams around the area are as well, is that you do have a senior quarterback, Jackson Noblet. Talk about how much he's going to mean to this program's success this year. Well, he's he's going to be a, a very huge part of our success. You know, the thing about Jackson is like he could play any position mm -hmm. for us on offense and probably any position on defense and do a great job. So, you know, for me, uh, just getting to know him in the last month or so, I've got to try to get him in the best position to help the team. And in and right now, he is, the best position I feel is quarterback, and he is going to take us to another level. Um, 
uh, I've coached a lot of good quarterbacks in my days, and um, you know he ranks right up there with them, uh, the the best ones I've had. So, you know we've got we're going to have some growing pains because mm -hmm. it's the first year with me and him. But to hopefully those growing pains don't hurt, cost us a game or two. Um, but it's going to be a lot of fun coaching him. Now, last question for you, and then we'll let you go. But uh, I don't want you to give too much away because a lot of the other programs are on this network. But uh, talk about uh, what kind of offense we can expect to see. I know in the past, Towns is usually going with the spread offense. Yeah, well, you know, I'm not going to I'm not going to spread people out. We're going to we're going to go right at them. Um, you know, we're just going to try to angle block you and uh, hold on to the football and play good defense. So. You know, we're not going to throw the ball around a lot, but uh, we do have the quarterback that can. Mm -hmm. yeah. So if we have to, we will. Uh, but, uh, you know, you're going to see a lot of, uh, you know, ball on the ground with us and uh, a lot of ball control. Well, Coach Harrison, thank you so much again for your time on Blitz. We appreciate it and uh, hope for the best for you for this year and your first year here at Towns County. Thanks. I appreciate it. And don't go anywhere. When we come back, we're going to have one of the senior players here on Blitz.